BFF 2016. We are on night two. I am here with Clint Howard, who was in the Wraith, which screened last night. This year is the 30th anniversary of the Wraith, and you just saw it on 35 millimeter for the first time in a while. And I just want to know how you feel about that. That was a long time ago. That's it, it. I feel old. Thinking that it was 30 years ago that we made the movie just threw me for a loop. I remember seeing the movie in 35 millimeter. Probably the only other time I ever saw it, it, it was the screening. It was the premiere screening, and it was a big deal, and the movie didn't perform very well. So, you know, it was, for, it was forgot about for a long time. Interesting. Um, so it's kind of a cult classic now. Yeah, yeah they're, apparently. I mean, that's what they would call it is a cult classic. You know, people memorize the dialogue and say the lines. They, they, they have the same car. Well, a lot of people have that car. That was a prototype. So, you know, people think the, the Wraith car was some sort of special thing. It was Dodge's effort. They were doing a prototype. And they do a bunch of them every year. Mm -hmm. Did you get to, to watch any of the audience reactions to the Wraith this year? At the festival? Yeah. Was it interesting to you to, to see new people's reactions? Because I know there were people yeah. in there that hadn't seen it before. It's a lot different. I think the laughs are in different places. I mean, obviously, people are laughing at it in places that it wasn't designed to get a laugh. Well, because it's an 80s movie. It's... it's um an older generation no, it's movie, bad. so you get young people in there and they're, they're going to find different things funny, right? Well, yeah, or you could say it's bad and people are laughing. See, if you're insecure as a, as a filmmaker, you would say that they're laughing at you. Well, I don't think they're laughing at you. Well, not at me. <laughs> okay. Um, and is this your first time to Chattanooga? Yeah, you know... It, it, Outside of Nashville for a few hours, the first time I've been in Tennessee at all. Interesting. Do you? How do you feel about CFF so far? It looked. It's good. They're doing good. It's it's well supported, and the people at the very top care. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's not like a slimy thing. It's not businessmen trying to make a dollar. It's people that are really compassionate people doing you know, doing a festival. It's people that care about movies, doing what they love so that they can see the movies. Let's support it. Exactly, yes. Well, thank you. Do you have, do you have any final thoughts you'd like to leave us with? No, except, uh, you know, let's support the festival. Let, let, let's support all festivals. Let's just really bring filmmaking to where it's supposed to be, which is, you know, where the audience is being delivered in from a story by the storytellers. As opposed, there's a middleman the, the whole, you know, salesmanship, the, the, the what is it, the, the division, um, they, they call it, what is it? it, the advertising agents. Right. Yeah. You know, the festivals get them out of it. They don't, right. know, what, they don't know what to do. That makes sense. Well, um, thank you very much for your time. Okay. Again, everybody, this is Clint Howard. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Check out The Wraith. It's been a pleasure. Don't. Don't check out the Wraith. Definitely check out the Wraith. I don't yeah. care what he says. It's good. <laughs> check out everything else he's in. It's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been fun. Thank you. Well.